Let's get another perspective. In North Virginia is Michael Shoyer, a former senior official at the CIA, who is a professor of security studies at Georgetown University. Michael, it's good to see you. Thanks very much Thank indeed you, for joining us. What do you make of um, what James Comey claims President Trump said to him about the Michael Flynn investigation? And I quote, this is what the New York Times is quoting. I hope you can let this go. I hope you can see your way clear to letting this go. He is a good guy. I hope you can let this go. What does that amount to to you? It amounts, amounts to me to a suggestion that he would like to ba avoid the bother of something that, that had very little basis in fact, but he didn't order Comey to do anything. He didn't and necessarily... so it's, it's kind of, to me, it's much ado about not much. All right. Okay. So he didn't, but uh, the, the, um, United States Code, Section 1503, Title 18, you probably know more about this than I do, it's the law relating to obstruction of justice. It says, whoever corruptly influences or endeavors to influence the due administration of justice is guilty of obstruction of justice. He didn't have to order um, Mr. Comey to shut down the investigation, did he? He only needed to lean on him. I don't think that's, you know, I... I, I we, we we interpret words differently, sir. Mm. I think if there's any has been any obstruction of justice, all you need to do is re, re uh, review Comey's history. Comey has a, abetted the senior people in the Democratic Party to stay out of prison for his whole term. Uh, again, the president's going to say things mm. uh, privately uh, that can come back to haunt him. Any president can. Sure. And now, I go ahead, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, you make a very important point there, don't you? You say privately because this um, discussion apparently happened after a four-way meeting involving the Vice President Mike Pence and the Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Now, they had the briefing with uh, Mr. Comey and the President. The President then asked the Vice President and the Attorney General to leave the room. And then he made these comments to uh, Mr. Comey. Does that smell fishy to you? Well, sir, what smells fishy to me is where do you have your information from? The New York Times? The New York Times said the day after Comey resigned that he had just asked for massive funding for the Russian investigation. The next day, his successor said he knew of no such thing and that, that request wouldn't go to Congress, it would go to the Justice Department. So if you're asking me, do I believe the New York Times, uh, no. And if Comey produces a memo, I would think it has to come out of the electronic system of the FBI. If it comes from Comey's home, you have either the chance of it being have been written in the past 10 days, mm. or he was keeping uh, information about private conversations with the president at home mm -hmm. instead of insecure accommodations. But you know, as well as anyone that a lot of officials particularly when they have a very important meeting with the president keep contemporaneous notes they're called memorandums for the record a lot of people do it and the head of this head of the uh, fbi it's more likely than not that he would do that isn't it well i certainly did sir when i was a senior you did officer too. but i never took them home and they're available on the computer. All I'm saying is that if he did take, if he did write a memo at the time, it will be available on the FBI's electronic communication system. And if it doesn't come from there, there's no certainty when it was written. Um, the uh, dollar has fallen to its lowest level in six months. Um, investors are concerned that the president, tied up with all this, um, is not able to push through tax cuts, not able to deal with the economy. And we know that non-farm roles were pretty poor compared to what people thought they would be for the last few months. Uh, and also dealing with infrastructure spending and cutting red tape. His agenda is getting stymied. And Republicans are getting worried about this because of all this, isn't it? Sure, the Republicans are on the same side as the Democrats. You have to remember that both establishments are anti-Trump and will be until, until and unless he's able to tame them. Take, for example, now that idiot McCain you had on there talking about Watergate. Head of the Intelligence S Secu Secu um, uh, uh, Senate Intelligence Committee, by the way. Yes. Seven <laughs> months after they started an investigation of this Russia business, the only piece of evidence they had have is from the word of a private sector IT company that worked for Hillary Clinton 
that the Russians uh, took, the, took the emails out of the DNC. And your own Royal uh, Services Institute came back and said, those people are lying. They never talked to us about what happened in the world of, of uh, uh, cybersecurity this year. That's the only evidence, sir. They won't let the FBI look at the DNC server. If it wasn't for that private sector Clinton employed company, we would have nothing to go on. All right. OK, Michael, it's good to have your perspective. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Big man Tyrone here. Make sure to subscribe to the Wicked Awesome Robin Hood UKIP YouTube website. He exposes the leftist crops on the British Brainwashing Corporation. <laughs> nice. <laughs>